it's my glam child Jaja. Welcome to another yet again favorites video. This is going to be for the month of August and you all know that August is my birthday month. I would just like to say thank you to all of you who greeted me on my birthday. My birthday was on August 16th and a lot of my uh, friends here in YouTube um, took the time to greet me on my birthday and I really appreciate that thank you so much for remembering my birthday so today I'll be talking about my favorites for this month so let's just jump right into it first off I have two primers from pure minerals and this first one is the see no more pore minimizer primer and I use this to minimize the pores that I have over here on my cheeks and this actually helps in minimizing my pores but I have to say though that it's not as good as my uh, benefits pore professional I love that but I have been using that very sparingly because I don't want to run out and this is my alternative to that but it gets the job done it minimizes my pores but I guess my pores is just so large that it's still um, it's still visible. I got this on sale from Restance. Another primer from Pure Minerals is this color correcting primer. This is a peach tone primer and I use this to counteract the dark circles underneath my eyes. Whenever I use this I don't need as much coverage underneath the eyes because this already counteracts the darkness. I have to apply a very thin layer because it has the tendency to kick up under my eyes and that's not cute at all. This one is really nice in counteracting the dark circles like I said and I really love this. For this month, I have been loving this L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. I did a first impressions on this product. It's great in evening out your skin tone, um, kind of color correct um, some of the imperfections that you might have, but it still allows your skin to peek through. So it doesn't have a lot of coverage, but it really gives your skin a nicer look to it. I guess I don't really want to wear a lot of foundations or coverage on my skin this month because I want to allow my skin to breathe a little bit so this product is really great for that during the time when I made the first impressions about this I didn't wear a primer at all but I noticed that whenever I wear a primer underneath it did not make me as oily. I've been wearing this a lot, especially during the days when I just don't want to bother with a lot of makeup on my face. My next favorite is a rediscovered product. I've had this for quite a while already and this is the Two Way Cake um, Powder in the shade Raja. And I use this to bronze up my face, especially if I'm wearing a foundation that is a bit too light for my skin tone. So I just use this to warm my face up. It is actually a face powder for people who have deeper skin tones. So it looks really really natural on my face. It is matte and it is actually my dupe for the MAC MSF Natural in the shade Dark. It gives the same effect because it's just natural looking. Another bronzer that I've been loving is by Milani. This is their baked bronzer in the shade Golden. Of course, you know I am oily and so I wear matte foundations a lot. And downside of wearing a matte foundation is that it can make you a little bit dull looking or flat. So whenever that happens, I just wear a bronzer that has a sheen to it. And so, if you can see here, it has a little bit of gold flex to it. Nothing too crazy. On the cheeks, it just gives you a nice sheen. It's beautiful on the skin, especially if you have a tan on your skin tone or if you're naturally morena. I just really love the shade. This bronzer is one of my most 
favorite one. Another Milani product that I've been loving is their baked blush. This is in the shade Rose de Oro. And I've been wearing this during the time when I feel that fall season is coming. It's just a really beautiful shade for fall. It's like a rosy gold shade gives a really nice sheen to the cheeks especially if I want a nice glow to my face so I've been loving this shade during the first weeks of August when it still feels like summer I've been wearing a bright um, cheeks I love this shade from Catrice this is their defining blush in the shade love and peach this is also the blush that I wore during my birthday and it just really complements my skin tone. It's a peachy coral shade. It's really bright and it just gives a nice pop of color to my cheeks. Especially if I'm just wearing minimal makeup and just a pop of color on my face which is a bright blush. Another really bright blush that I enjoyed wearing this month is by Sleek. This is in the shade Pixie Pink. It might scare you a little bit. It seems like it's so bright and vivid. But on the cheeks, it's just a really nice flush of pink as you can see right there. It's not really, really opaque so you can apply it very sheerly. But on my cheeks, it's just really playful and flirty and I really enjoy the color so much. Dolly Wink Brow Mascara in the shade number 4. It's a bronzy, um, dark bronzy shade and I am wearing it on my brows today. It just gives a really nice natural shade. It just complements my hair right now because uh, I no longer have brown hair so I've been wearing a taupey kind of brown on my brows and this is a perfect color to match my hair. If you're friends with me in Facebook then you already know that I was hospitalized during this month. I was really dehydrated, my lips were really really chapped and the only thing that revived the moisture on my lips is this EOS lip balm. It's in the flavor lemon drop. It smells really really sweet and tastes really good too i have skin peeling off my lips and it's just really gross and this helped it to revive my lip next favorite is a lip gloss this is the love and beauty velvet lip gloss i am wearing it right now i really love the shade of this lip gloss i mean it's called a lip gloss but it's really not glossy it gives a velvety um, velvety matte finish actually here's what the shade looks like when first applied and after the glossiness wears out this is what it looks like on the lips I really really like it it's not that drying on the lips it still gives a nice moisturized feeling I don't know it doesn't make sense but it doesn't dry out my lips that's what I want to really emphasize and the color is just so nice it's opaque and it's comfortable on my lips I really really enjoy this a lot so again it is the velvet lip gloss in the shade natural those complete my favorites video for this month i hope that you enjoyed watching this let me know in the comments below if you have anything in particular that you have been loving and enjoying this month so that i could also check it out for all my new subscribers welcome to the channel i hope you stay a while and for all my good old um friends subscribers here in youtube um, thank you, thank you for sticking with me and for all your support. You are really the sweetest and I love you so much. Until next time, gorgeous. Bye. Mwah.